What about this guy, Steven Seagal? I don't could easily rip Steven Seagal's skinny little arms off. He can use them as dental floss. That's right, unwax. <laughs> Steven Seagal? Oh Worst host by lap. Biggest jerk who's, who's ever been on the show. That would be Steven Seagal. It was, it's insane. It's just the most awful person. He's <laughs> a fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. So in one of my previous videos I talked about what it was like for the Saturday Night Live team to work on an episode with the greatest actor and martial arts master Steven Seagal. By the way, I was there when he hosted SNL, one of the most famous nightmare, can't reshow that show ever. And today I will show you one clip. It's a sketch about Hans and Franz, two stereotypical bodybuilders with a perfect Californian accent. You know, many people have accused us of being involved with steroids. Yeah, they are right. At first they reckless walk on thin ice making fun of Steven Seagal. Look at me, Franz, I'm laughing! But in the end they realize their mistake and acknowledge his absolute superiority. Or maybe we misjudged you. Uh, yeah, maybe you're not a girly man after all, Mr. Seagal. Yeah. Saul Goodman assisted in writing for this sketch, where the silly characters show off in front of Steven Seagal. Seagal read it and he said, if I do this sketch, if I do it, I have to beat them up. <laughs> The guys managed to convince the insecure slob that it was just a joke about two silly characters calling everyone out to fight. You don't <laughs> worry, no one's thinking anyone beat anyone up here. It seemed like the problem was solved, the whining from the overgrown child had stopped and they even got to the rehearsal. But Steven's nerves still couldn't hold up. And all of it was them making fun of Steven. Arnold could easily rip Steven Seagal's skinny little arms off and he could use them as dental floss. The master's indignation was caused by the mere possibility of comparing a charismatic legend of action movies with an ideal body who achieved great results in life through hard work, talent, iron will, with a talentless clown who can't fight, act or sing. If you don't scrap the kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Yakety yak! Don't talk back. Instead of all that, he just furrows his bro, waves his hands and just pushes around a helpless extras. Then on Thursday, we're just on the soundstage rehearsing it, and we go through it with the cue cards. He reads his lines, very serious, then he just walks off 50 feet away in the 8H, the studio. So I went up to him, I said, Stephen, are you okay? And he just didn't look at me, he's looking straight forward, he goes, I just wish Arnold was here so I could kick his fucking ass. Siegel managed to get offended by two fictional idiots and the sketch had to be changed. So we did the sketch, the sketch different so that he was, there's only one person stronger than Arnold and that's Steven Seagal. Six months later Dana Carvey met Schwarzenegger in some restaurant. I go, Arnold, Steven Seagal's on the show, he said, kick your fucking ass. I told him the whole story and Arnold just leans back and goes, is that the fact? <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, Steven's dreams of revenge against Steel Arnie were not meant to come true. Got Arnold's it. too smart, he owns 747s and you know, what are we gonna do, be like in fifth grade and try to wrestle? So the sketch starts with Hans and Franz promising to pop you up alive. Wait, what's with the awkward silence? Are we having lunch with Neil Breen or at a comedy show? We just want to pop you up alive. The couple think that the audience cheering for them, but we all know. They start with a joke about steroids, a significant part of their lives. Yeah, they are the people that stop on the street and stare at our amazing pompitude. Just like the rest, poor souls who have never seen above the law, hard to kill, out for justice. Hans and Franz still worship Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold's sure to beat out all the competition from these other second-rate action movie stars. Yeah. And while they are praising the false idol, a true action star appears from behind. Steven got a little cold while waiting for his entrance and now he's trying to warm up a bit. And at some point Hans and Franz cross the line declaring that Arnold could easily rip Steven Seagal's skinny little arms off. Seagal's face changes and holding back tears he approaches the pair. I couldn't help overhearing what you guys were saying, you know? I wish Arnold was there so that Steven could give him a pat on the shoulder or just like that. On the flip side, we all know that wouldn't have happened. Seagal is an Aikido master only with those who are way smaller than him. The action hero avoids confrontations with guys of his own size. Steven Seagal, all those karate movies, remember them things? 
He shit in his pants, I think, twice. He was so scared. Next, the great one explains to the duo how wrong they were from the beginning. Here, I don't want to compare myself to these other stars. They're great and everything like that, but what I do is unique. He doesn't want to compare himself with some second-rate losers, but saying that he thinks they are great and everything... It's just a bullshit. Because that's what he really thinks about those pathetic outcasts from the world of action movies. You know, do you know Van Damme? No. He was like a, a champion somewhere and right. I think that that's a matter of opinion, that he was a champion anywhere. And, and I mean, you know, I'm not being catty or anything. I wish the guy all the best, but there are an awful lot of people who say that that's not true. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. yeah. Siegel is unique, you know, and it's hard to argue. The other question is, does the sensei himself understand what exactly makes him so damn unique? I follow Zen. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, we know Zen. Yeah. First we lift the barbell, then we lift the knob. Yeah. Fools. Does this athletic physique look like he knows lifting barbells? Two common tricep pushdown mistakes that are killing your triceps gains. A tricep pushdown mistake is raising your shoulders, causing other muscles to take over as you push down. Instead, keep your shoulders depressed. The second mistake is moving the upper arm, shifting tension away from the triceps and to the lats. Instead, you want to keep your upper arm in a fixed position. First of all, I have to compliment you for your physical development because you really look very athletic and good, so don't put yourself down. Okay, the first exercise I'm going to show you is uh, what we call the bench press. Okay, just let it down slowly and press it up to my hand. Okay. And breathe out when you press up. Yeah. I warn you right away, by the way. No jokes in a comment about lifting cookies, Zen snatching birthdays. Put that cookie down! Now! What is the essence of Zen? No, Steven Seagal has gotten so awoke in his knowledge that he can now show off some superhuman abilities that are beyond the understanding of ordinary mortals. But before that, Hans and Franz give a heads up that they also have a trick or two up their sleeves. Before you make this last decision, you know, perhaps you should see what you're up against. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this is how Patrick Swayze, for example, reacted to the flex. That's good, Hans and Franz, that's good. Arnold Schwarzenegger tried to compete with them at first. And then even he had to admit that the two friends are superior. Those guys came in their best shape, I have to admit it. As for Steven Seagal, he didn't get the joke. I don't know who taught you that stuff, but it's kind of silly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we know what you mean, Steven. I don't want to explain obvious to you, but they are two grotesque characters. Nobody expects anything from them except being kinda silly, you know. And as for you, you are raising the bar of expectations quite high. Let's see what crazy skills this Zen Buddhist is planning to woe us with. Alright. Go! Alright, push from! I am pushing hands! Unbelievable. Right in front of our eyes, this man is holding back the pressure of two huge bodybuilders with stretched hand. And what's even crazier, he is doing it all while holding his pinky straightened out. And that's not all yet. It turns out that he can not only impressively resist the pressure, but also impressively not resist the pressure. That's very good, I'm very impressed, Mr. Cigar. But as for me, Hans, I'm not too impressed with your guys' performance as Steven's opponents. Which at professionals do the work to make it look like Seagal knows how to fight. And the pressure is also done wrong. Watch it how you need to correctly resist the hand to make it look like whatever it's supposed to be. It looks to me like you guys are like really constipated. You could drink some prune juice or something, I don't know. And you. You made the star out to be a conceited idiot in front of entire audience. It is clear that these two guys are has never been trained by a master. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm really sorry! Like a lot of beginning students, you attacked me wrong. Yeah! 
You're still bending your elbows. Thank him for being here and sharing his wisdom with you. Right. Thanks, to, thanks, thanks you guys around. Just kind of remember the Zen of things. Which is Zen of sin? Right. That's yeah. right. Where are you going? Thank you. You know, yeah. Stephen's well, pinky has taught us a great lesson today. From I also want to understand the lesson from the straightened pinky. Welcome. We're back. Till the next time.